Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joe. It is unboxing time today again. I'm really excited about the contents of this package. It is an order I placed with Ulik Kaktin and uh, it has a couple of plants I've been really looking forward to adding to my collection. Let's take a look. <music> This is an order I placed with Ulik Kaktin and uh, they have a absolutely marvelous selection of cacti and other succulent plants. There's Hoyas, there's, uh, you really should just check out their catalog. It is an amazing selection of plants that they actually have on offer. So among the exciting content of this shipment that I'm looking forward to are a couple of new Euphorbia additions to my Euphorbia collection. There are a couple of mammillarias, uh, and there's also, uh, among other things, one boswellia, a boswellia neglecta plant. So that's from the family of the frankincense trees. It's quite a package. clear some of the packing material here. Very well packed, I must say. Let's just start here, plant number one. What is it that we will be unwrapping here? So here's the uh, plant label, Mammillaria. So this is a Mammillaria Recoi Variation Ore Spina. So the plants are basically double wrapped in uh, both paper as well as some stabilizing uh, plastic foil. Wow, look at this one. This is a beautiful mammillaria, gold, yellow, yellow gold spined. I always love this unboxing of uh, new plants. It's always wonderful to uh, see what actually is coming. Here's another Mammillaria, and uh, this is a beautiful specimen of Mammillaria bombicina. And uh, these Mammillarias are uh, really beautiful. So here we go Mammillaria bombicina. What a beautiful plant! And actually what's interesting, it says on the uh, plant label here that the plant is actually hardy down to minus two degrees centigrade. So what's that? That's about uh, 28 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit. So mild frost resistant or, or hardy. So my first Euphorbia from this shipment coming up. It's a Euphorbia tortillis. Oh, that's a beautiful plant. It's a very nice specimen. There's a plant label Euphorbia tortillis. That's a really nice specimen very strong and uh, it's got three branches coming off or two branches coming off the main central stem so a uh, very nice shape beautiful now Kaktein Ulik is one of the large and well-known cactus nurseries here in Germany and they actually um, send they uh, post orders of cacti and succulents uh, all across the world. They've been known for a long, long time. I must say, I've already ordered from Kaktein Ulik many, many years ago when uh, I was actually um, a student with a relatively small cactus collection and already then uh, they had a magnificent collection of um, cacti and many other succulents. 
So the nursery, the greenhouses of Ule Kakteen are actually located in southwest Germany in the vicinity near the major city of Stuttgart. And uh, Matthias Ulik is the owner and head gardener there. So on we go. Here's the next new addition to my little collection of euphorbias. And uh, I wanted to actually add a euphorbia Susanne to my collection. And uh, when I saw that it was actually being offered in the catalog, I uh, added it to my order. Look at this wonderful, wonderful little euphorbia coming out of the packaging here. The label here says it's from the uh, Karoo, the small Karoo desert. There you go. It's actually, if you look closely, it is in flower. So uh, the tiny little yellowish green flowers just to be seen there. Beautiful euphorbia. Let me just say while I'm unpacking that it has been exceptionally mild here during all of the month of October and well into the month of November. And so it doesn't really feel like the cool winter dormancy period here in the greenhouse yet. Temperatures still rise relatively quickly when the sun comes out and um, I've always got to really keep all the windows and the door to the greenhouse open to make sure it doesn't get too warm too hot in here during the daytime but then I usually close the windows and the door sometime mid-afternoon just to store some of the warmth from the sun and to make sure that that lasts for a couple of hours into the evening and uh, nighttime hours, really also to save on energy costs, which have just been skyrocketing here in Europe this uh, past year. Now, what have we got here? This is a beautiful new addition to my collection of rare and weird and wonderful Mexican cacti. This is Epithalanta micromeris and uh, it's actually got some fruit you can still see at the top there with seeds coming so that's something I'm really looking forward to as well in addition to having this wonderful gem of a plant now added to my collection. So Epithalanta Micromeris. On to the next surprise. And uh, oh, I can see already another mammalaria coming up here. And uh, I've actually not got that many mammalarias in my collection. So I actually went for a uh, special sale offer that uh, Matthias Ulick was offering and that was um, five, his selection of five different types of uh, mammalaria and uh, I thought given the uh, the price, the sale, that was a nice opportunity to uh, just add a couple of mammalarias to my own collection and this is of course, I recognize it, uh, the famous Mammillaria haniana, which many of us are actually growing. Many of you will probably have in your own collections. It's still a relatively small specimen, but uh, they have just wonderful flowers that of course uh, appear at near the top of the plant and sort of appear in rings uh, in the, they're, they're violet colored and they appear in the spring and the summer. So Mammillaria haniana. It's uh, very worthwhile to grow a plant for beginners, uh, a real beautiful cactus. So 
So here I can see from the label already, this is uh, one that I was looking forward to, to add to my collection of South American cacti. And uh, specifically, I've got quite a number of matucanas, sub matucanas. I really like uh, a lot of these cacti coming from uh, Chile and Bolivia. And uh, this one is a matucana palsy or palsy eye. And uh, it's actually a wonderful plant with loads of uh, little pups on the side. So uh, it, it grows in these kind of little uh, aggregates or, or colonies. And uh, this is a really, really beautiful specimen. Look at that Matukana palsy eye. It's actually almost 4 p.m. in the afternoon here and um, it's still a very pleasant 22 degrees centigrade in the greenhouse so uh, that's thanks to the Sun of course still being out gives us uh, actually very nice light for uh, the video today so that's a nice coincidence with the unboxing of uh, the cacti shipment from Ulik Kaktin. Here we go, another beautiful mammalaria from the mammalaria package deal, so to speak. A mammalaria elongata. And uh, these are actually amazing plants because they're also um, uh, quite frost hardy. And actually here on the label it says uh, frost hardy up to minus 10 degrees Celsius. So really beautiful mammalaria. Look at that. Again, a mammalaria elongata, very worthwhile plant for most beginners. So it's definitely an ideal plant if you are growing your cacti indoors, say on a windowsill, uh, but you know, you can take it outside during the summer months. And of course, if you've got a dry, a suitable dry location, then, um, and if, if temperatures don't drop below minus 10 centigrade in your location, then of course, uh, might be worth trying to grow this one outside during a winter, but keep it very dry. That's the most important thing with growing cacti outdoors in the winter. Another very well packed plant here. And what have we got? Ooh, this is one that I'm really, really excited about actually adding to my collection. You'll see in a moment why a very special plant from what I could see in the catalog. It's a very special form of the well-known Astrophytum, the Astrophytum Myrius stigma, and it's the uh, cultivar Tricostata, so the three-ribbed cultivar version of the well-known Astrophytum Myrius stigma. And uh, what a beautiful plant. Look at that. I am growing the, uh, let's say, regular Astrophytum Myrius stigma. I've got one with five ribs. I think that's the uh, the normal sort of variation. Then uh, you will um, also be able to find a four ribbed version. And, uh, and this of course is the three ribbed cultivar tree costata. Okay, down to the last five. I'll start with the smallest of the remaining packages because the other four are relatively larger than the rest. Ah, it is, I think, the final member of the selection of Mammillaria from that special sale. And uh, it is, again, a fantastic plant for beginners to be growing. It's a beautiful little specimen of the very well-known Mammillaria gracilis. There's Mammillaria gracilis for you. 
a very nice little plant. Again, very, very suitable for all beginners and uh, anyone who's starting off with cacti. You can actually see the little, uh, there's buds in between the tubercles, the, the mammillae. Can you see them? It is, it is due to be flowering early in the spring, of course, but uh, I wonder whether the um, unusually mild autumn weather has actually already brought this little mammillaria to uh, show its buds uh, way ahead of its normal flowering season. So here's a slightly larger or taller plant coming up here now. This is uh, a Hilde Vintera, so Pleistocactus, and it's a hybrid, a beautiful hybrid from what I could see in the catalog. It's the Orispina hybrid Goldschuppe. Very impressively packed so that these plants are actually shipped with virtually no loss of any of their mineral rich substrate from the pots. So plants arriving, you know, pretty much as they were standing in the nursery of uh, Matthias Ulick just uh, a couple of days ago. So here you go, Hilde Vintra or Espina hybrid Goldschuppe. It's uh, a wonderful Hilde Vintra, or now reclassified to Pleistocactus. And uh, these are, of course, wonderful, wonderful flowers that these uh, hybrids uh, have. So one I'm definitely looking forward to seeing its bloom coming in the coming uh, growing season. Okay, folks, we're down to the last three. I hope you're just as excited as I am. And uh, let's see what this uh, next package here has. Oh, wonderful. This is uh, actually not a cactus. It's also not a succulent plant. It's actually a plant from the family of the frankincense trees. So Boswellia, the genus Boswellia. And uh, I have been growing for many, many years a Boswellia sacra, which is the actual frankincense tree. And uh, I saw in the catalog of Matthias Ulick, uh, so Ulick Captain, that uh, there was a Boswellia of the species uh, Neglecta, so Boswellia Neglecta, on offer. And uh, I had to get a specimen of this wonderful, wonderful, quite rare plant to add to my collection of frankincense trees, the Boswellias. They have the most beautiful array of flowers. And uh, I've actually got a video on my channel. One of the shorts is uh, featuring the Boswellia Sacra in flower. You might want to check that out just to get an idea. And uh, this is Boswellia Neglecta. It's uh, also a very seasonal plant. And as you can see, it doesn't actually have its leaves at this stage. So it's in its dormancy. There's a tiny little shoot, a tiny little leaf you might be able to see right there at the top. And uh, otherwise it's um, got its main stem. So one to be looking forward to in the next growing season. Beautiful. Let's take a look at what we have here. And the name label is telling me there's a euphorbia coming up here. Another new addition to my euphorbias. And this one is a euphorbia griseola. I haven't come across this one before, so I was quite 
curious and keen to actually have this one added to my collection. Oh, wonderful. Look at this beautiful Euphorbia. And uh, wow. So it's Euphorbia griseola. Let me just bring this closer to the camera for a moment. This is a very attractive little uh, Euphorbia griseola. And uh, wow, I love it. Look at that. It's got these sort of bluish green main stems and the wonderful black gray thorns. And what have we got here now? This is the last of the plants in this shipment. And it's another Euphorbia. It's a Euphorbia, as the plant label says, from northern Yemen. So a Euphorbia from the Middle East, from the Arabian Peninsula. There are some very beautiful Euphorbias growing there. And uh, wow, look at this. This is a real spectacular highlight. That's coming right at the end of the unboxing. What a wonderful, wonderful Euphorbia. I have to carefully take the paper wrapping off here in order not to damage the plant, but I'll show you in a second. This is quite spectacular. It is a Euphorbia inarticulata, and it is in full bloom. Look at this beauty. Now, that couldn't have actually been at a better place than coming in as the absolute highlight at the end of this wonderful selection of new plants. Look at that beauty. These yellow flowers are absolutely magnificent. All the plants were beautifully packed and uh, have just arrived in absolute perfect shape and they're all very healthy and they all look very very good. Thank you very much to uh, Kakteen Ulik for a wonderful selection of plants that I've just unboxed from my recent order. That leaves me to say thank you very much for watching today and for joining me with the unboxing of new cacti and other succulents. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then uh, I'd be very happy if you actually gave me a like and uh, perhaps sent a comment. Uh, and equally, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, it would be fantastic if you actually decided to subscribe as well. That's it for today. Hope to see you very soon again. Stay safe and happy growing.